is back with another LinkedIn's video. And today I have a new razor to test out on my damn bald ass head. As you can see, this is about uh, two days worth of hair. Um, honestly, I don't like letting my hair get any further than this because when you're shaving, it just seems like you got to do too much, um, too much of it, you know, when you get a little bit higher than this. So this is about a day and a half, maybe two days worth of growth. Um, as you guys know, um, I just did a, uh, video on Harry's, um, shaver, uh, about a week ago. Um, I put that up against the Gillette skin guard, which is my favorite razor to use. Uh, but today we have another razor that you might see plenty of ads on Facebook about and that is the Defender razor now I kind of got high hopes for this one just because it is very similar to the skin guard You got two blades, but they're kind of spaced apart. So it should make for an easy cleanup uh, But we shall see okay, so um, Opening it up right now. We just got it sent out to me all right, so let's see, see if there's anything else in the package besides this stuff so we can um, get into it. Now, I got four regular cartridges, which is right here. Kind of like that little logo. That's pretty nice. I like the sleekness of this cartridge box right here. Um, and then I got a shaper. So when I'm doing my beard, um, when you only need that one single razor, you know, something a little tiny, especially when you're getting up underneath your nose. Maybe you want to, you know, tone down that mustache a little bit and you want to, like, kind of, um, uh, you know, make it a little smaller. Sometimes those big razors uh, kind of gets hard to get underneath the nose and above the mustache, so this should help that out a lot. I'll show you guys how to use that one in a little bit as well. But for the most part, this is what we're talking about, this razor with those blades, okay? So let's open this up. Again, there goes that Defender. I love this logo. It's pretty decent. I like the cleanliness of it the sleekness of it no clogging no pulling no tugging now they didn't leave no nicks on here neither so nicks are the main reason why people don't like shaving their head they get a little too worried about cutting up their head and honestly man when you cut up your head sometimes it takes a long time for you to you know stop that bleeding so um, i can see why people don't like to shave but man, you guys go check out that skin guard. I'm telling you from Gillette, it's an amazing piece of equipment for a person who's trying to go bald or, you know, try to maintain a nice bald head. It's probably one of the best razors around. Um, so here on the back, no clog, easy rinse, no pulling, no tugging, uh, inadequate, what does it say, suspension. And um, what does that else say? Embedded safety guards, slim design to reach under the nose. Now, let me show you guys how this thing looks. And it actually comes with this thing to, you know, if you want to put it on the mirror, you can put that on the mirror and just stick it on there like that. So you just pull that off, stick it on the mirror, which I'll probably do just to let you guys know if it sticks. And it does stick. It's on the mirror right now. Um, they all come with this little safety clip right here to kind of guard the blades to kind of keep them from going dull and everything like that So this is the way it looks nice sleek black handle, which I kind of dig a lot um, When you want to change them, I think you just push on this thing right here and it releases it So it's not actually a button. It just seems like you just put some pressure right there and then it releases the blade So it's not like a little button mechanism or anything like that um, so here is the blade. This one actually has three blades, but they are spaced out. I thought it was only two, but maybe I mistakenly seen that it is three blades. So I'm really excited about this one. So you guys know the skin guard has two. This has three. But again, all of them are spaced out. And then it seems like all of them have one of those um, lubricating strips above each blade, if you can see that. So you got one, two, three. So three lubricating strips. That's just pretty dope as well. And um, it says this thing, wow, I like that. If you can see, all of the blades kind of move like that, see? So it's not just the whole thing. Like each individual one can be spaced out. So I'm kind of digging that. Maybe when it gets up against the head, let's see. See how it's kind of conforming to my hand like that? See how it's bending like that? You don't get that with the skin guard or the hairy, so I'm kind of 
really amped up about using this bad boy in my head. So uh, we will definitely get into that. Um, if you guys are ready to skip forward and um, get to the part of me lathering up my head, you guys can please do so. But I'm going to show you guys one more cool thing before I get into putting the cream on my head. Um, big shout out to my boy, Dwayne. Man, I'm going to be uh, coming after you in a little bit. I need some more shave balm. Um, man, this guy makes shave balms, if you can see right here. Shave balms, shave creams, beard wax, beard balm, beard oil. Um, he makes fragrances. He makes um, oil diffusers. Um, he does it all, man. He, and he was nice enough to um, scent this one with one of my favorite fragrances, DGK. You know, that's the king. Um, you know, the only bad thing is you sent up a nice, you know, lathering on your head. And, you know, you just wash it off. But this guy, he'll put your favorite fragrance in anything you want. So if you get a nice beard balm or something like that or a beard oil and then you put your favorite fragrance in that beard oil and then rub it in your face, you're going to be smelling great. So I'll leave the description down below where you can find this guy, DB Sensations. He makes plenty of fragrances as well. He's the... Legit guy, man. He's a great guy, man. So, um, hope you're watching that DB. Big shout out to you, homie. But I'm gonna lather up real quick using this shave balm today. Um, been using uh, Nivea shaving cream as of late, but I will use this one today. And again, one thing I like to do when I'm shaving my head is like to rub a nice little hot washcloth the head. That kind of relaxes the hairs a little bit stands them up whatever you know honestly i don't know what the hell it does but that's what i've heard so i'm just saying it as well does it stand it up does it relax it i don't know i've actually um shaved plenty of times with my skin guard without any shaving cream uh, before it's that good of a razor so um i'm not sure what it does but okay got the head um kind of moist enough Again, man, the shave balm is really nice, especially, I really like this when you get closer, when you're pretty much done with your head, shaving it, and then you got those little few spots that you might have missed. This is definitely a good um, use for the shave balm, when you get down to those nitty gritty spots that you've missed. It's definitely good for when you're just lining up um, everything right here, so I'll kind of show you that other blade as well. Again, you guys are more than welcome to uh, skip forward um, to kind of get to me shaving. But right now, um, as you can see, there is some balm on my head. It's just, you know, you can't really see it, but it is on there. All right, so here we go. Defender Razor, okay? that I'm definitely digging that oh yeah I mean you don't see these in the stores like you do the Harry's blades and Gillette's and you know your shit blades like that so I was kind of worried to see if these are going to be any good you know obviously like the Harry's you been able to see them a lot more often now in the stores. They're pretty much at pretty much any big department store. Target, Walmart. It's actually a really good blade too, the Harry's. I'm really digging that one a lot. Man, so far, so good. Man, so buttery smooth right here. And again, cleanup is really easy because of that spaced out blade. Got three of them again in here, so here we go. Oh, I think I might have nicked myself. That is a, that is a strong blade, guys. Maybe I didn't. Felt like I might have nicked myself right there in the forehead a little bit. No, I'm not trying to go for a uh, WWE effect on this one, you guys. Man, but I am digging that, you guys. No lie. I like how that blade is kind of bending a little bit to conform to my head a little bit 
which I am really digging a lot because a lot of the blades do not like bend or anything like that. They're just so stiff. So when you go over the top of that head, where the head kind of curves a little bit, there's no bend in that razor at all. But with this one, I'm digging that it does bend like that. It does conform to your head very nicely. So I'm definitely digging that. Okay, you guys, I'm actually really, I'm literally just using my phone as a mirror right now. So guys got to bear with me if it seems like I'm kind of going a little slow right here. Okay, so I did nick myself a little bit with this one. Again, sometimes with the first use of um, a new blade, you got to be very careful. You know, that's the one thing... Um, I have digged a lot about that skin guard is I have yet to nick myself with that blade um, but I have nicked myself with the Harry's I've nicked myself with um, this one obviously as you can see look at that another nick so man as much as I'm digging this blade man like in the spots that I got Oh man, it's kind of weird, kind of embarrassing, but man, I'm not holding nothing back. So, you got to be real careful um, with this blade, man. It is definitely really sharp. Um, yeah, that's the one thing about this blade though. Look at that, dude. Got me looking like a fucking WWF wrestler. Like, really. Um, man, I really wasn't even going over my head that hard with this, neither, you guys. Um, I'm going to wash up real quick. Hopefully, I can stop the bleeding a little bit. I'll be right back. But, man, I will give this another try because I felt like it was doing so well on this side. I felt like it was doing pretty damn good. Until I felt the little nicks on here. So you guys got to be careful with these blades. Especially like I said on the head area. If you nick yourself. Sometimes it does take a while to stop the bleeding. Man I love the way this thing bends. And oh man I just don't know. I do the same thing with my skin guard. I go over my head. Actually I go over my head harder with the skin guard. And I have yet to nick myself with that one. Like, never. I've never nicked myself with that one. I didn't even nick myself with the Harry's last time I used it. But this one, the first time using it. Look at that. Got the nicks on the head. So, I'm not too sure about this one as far as heads. Maybe with your face. Maybe it's a little bit better. But I'm going to come back. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to kind of wash up a little bit. And I'll be right back, alright? See you soon. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back, man. And as you can see... Man, kind of nicked myself up pretty damn good with this blade. Um, man, I've been shaving my head probably for the last um, year and a half or so. Um, there was a few other blades that, you know, when I used them, I had they nicked me as well. One of them being the Dollar Shave Club blades. Those ones nicked me up pretty well too on the head. And this one, this Defender Razor, I had so much high hopes for it. Uh, but as you can see, this shit's got me looking like a fucking WWF wrestler. Like, man, I don't want to scare you guys or anything. But now I'm going to try the... I'm going to at least give the the Styler Blade a shot. Um, we'll go to my face with that. Man, hopefully I don't... Cut the hell up on my face as well. Um, man, but I, I'm a little disappointed with that Defender Razor. I had so much high hopes for it. Um, kind of a disappointing, man. But, you know, like I said, I'm going to show you guys the whole thing. You know, and the bad thing is, is that when you nick yourself on the head, 
you know, you guys know when you cut yourself, if you guys start, you know, sweating later, that damn face of yours is going to be stinging. And this is not something you want to be stinging throughout the day, your head. So, um, man, I'm just going to have to stick to my skin guard as far as for my head purposes. You know, I'm not going to be um, slicing my head up all the time. But, man, as you can see, Nick right here, Nick, Nick behind the ear, like, dude, this... That has never happened to me with the skin guard at all, not even once. And first time with that blade, three, four, probably more nicks in the back of my head. I didn't even felt back there yet, but it is stinging a little bit back there. So I'm pretty sure I probably nicked myself up in the back as well. So man, you guys did such an awesome job on the design of that blade. I just don't know if the blades aren't as sharp or, you know, they felt like they... We're doing really well on this side. Maybe they are sharp. Maybe I just hit my head wrong. I don't know. But like I said, I've been doing this for um, two years now. And only one other blade has nicked me. Um, and that was the Dollar Shave Club. So this is the second one to nick my head. But man, kind of disappointed with this one, you guys. So let me show you guys the stylish blade. This Again, this is just a one blade right here so I'm kind of stoked to try this one out hopefully it doesn't leave my face all cut up uh, but I do have some stuff on my face I'm gonna kind of just kind of line myself up a little bit and uh, man you guys when you guys are doing your beard don't be um, shy about using guides like that some people are like oh man you don't need to use a guide man come on bro don't use a guide but man if it kind of helps use it so here we go kind of use this like this i got to sometimes now if you just go like this sometimes they're good but sometimes i like to use it just like this as well like you just lay it on its side you get a more um, nice crease on the face. So let's try this out. Okay. Not bad so far. Sometimes you gotta flip these things around a little bit. Like this thing literally is just like, just for lining up you guys. Um, I didn't really know what to think about this thing, but it literally is just to line up a beard or anything like that. Um, Cause it is literally only one blade. I don't even know if I'm using this damn thing right. Hmm. I mean, I got right there pretty good. Again, you guys, I'm, yeah, literally, I'm doing this from my phone. I'm trying to look at the mirror for a better picture, but I'm using the phone as well, you guys, so just bear with me. Kind of like the simplicity of this blade, it is pretty decent. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty much lined up pretty well. Um, let's try above the stash a little bit. Now, when I get to the stash, I really don't use nothing there. I just kind of. Uh, Honestly, I'm not too much of a fan of this one, you guys. Um, if you guys have like a double blade now, this is where I kind of feel like Dollar Shave is pretty good because they're pretty much one of the only, you know, just double blades that I'll use. Um, but they're thin enough to get where it needs to be. That little single blade, I mean, I don't think it really worked all that well. Um, we'll try this one now. Here's the Dollar Shave Club right here. So you can see I'm kind of lined up right here. 
like the other one. The other one, I couldn't tell if I was actually getting any hair or not. I, you don't feel no tug or nothing. Nah. Or any kind of give back, so it's hard to tell if you're actually getting it or not. Now, just know when you get to that upper part of your mustache, you gotta make different faces to get a nice groove. But, man, I'm kind of disappointed with that. Um, Defender Razor, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. That was probably a nice $15 down the drain because I do not plan on using either one again. Maybe I'll give the other one, the Stylish Plate, another try and see maybe if I'm doing it like, you know, if I kind of do it maybe looking at the mirror instead of my phone, maybe I'll do a better job with it. But honestly, I think this one is just good. This, um, Double blade from Dollar Shave Club. It's nice and small. You actually feel it. I wasn't really feeling anything on this one, you guys. Um, so, I'm not too sure about this one, you guys. This Defender Razor Blade. Awesome box. Awesome design. Great handle. Feels great. But because it left me too many nicks, I will pass on this. Maybe it'll work for you guys, but it did not work for me. So, I have to put this back in the box I'm not going to ship it back because I don't think they take uh, these things back but there you guys go man the Defender Razor Blade nah this is the fucking this is the steel curtain shred your face to smithereens blade right here but can't win them all hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys did hit the likes, comment and subscribe you guys can watch me bleed on the next Razor Blade alright Peace out. Yeah.